everyone thanks for tuning into your reading um, I decided to do something a little different for the new moon in Scorpio I'm going to do a new moon in Scorpio spread so we can look at you know how you can align your feelings and actions and what's truly important to you to give you some more clarity and also just on healthy ways to express your deep emotional desires and some other things so um, ways you can be more honest with yourself and do shadow work because you always hear us talk about doing your shadow work so you can come into union with your soulmate so what is that really about let's see what it means for you okay so this is just going to be a singular reading um, but if you were drawn here likely it has a message for you just take what resonates and forget what doesn't it's a general reading it won't resonate for everybody but it will resonate for some so i'm not going to make you wait any longer i'm going to pull a healing with the fairies card to jump off the reading or get it started so for the new moon in scorpio angel spirits and guides for the collective who is viewing this video give us guidance on what they need to focus on regarding this new moon in scorpio please and guidance on the reading Thank you to those of you who have ordered personal readings from me and those of you who have liked and subscribed commented i appreciate you guys you do keep the channel going okay we've got more than i need right here <laughs> also i did start that patreon that i talked about last week so if you'd like to please check that out um, many get extended readings from me but with patreon level one uh lift off level tier level you can get um like four sets of, of readings exclusive for the price of um, one extended. So we've got the Dreams Coming True card that's come out. So that's a very positive way to start the reading as it's saying that dreams are coming true with that. And that comes with an affirmation. Let me look that up real quick. But, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory as it talks about dreams coming true for you, viewers. So... What it is saying in the book here is that your heart's desires are manifesting into reality... And, you know, you're just being asked to hold fast to your faith and expect positive outcomes, that there's some sort of good news that's becoming a reality. So keep up your prayers and affirmations and visualizations. And if you haven't been doing those, this is guiding you to do those because this is a good time to manifest, okay? Manifest your, um, your dreams. You could be perhaps seeing glimmers of that coming true or having dreams or thoughts around seeing your dreams start to solidify and be created in your life. So continue to have faith, continue to pray on it, continue to release any fears that might be sabotaging your success as well. And just know that you deserve this abundance, okay? Because we all deserve abundance in our life. So the affirmation you can say with this card viewer is, my heart is filled with gratitude and excitement, knowing that wonderful people and situations surround me now, okay? So that's gonna start off the reading. Gonna use the Hoodoo Tarot deck. Angel spirits and guides for those who have tuned in for this reading. How can they align their feelings and actions? So they need, in order to manifest, you need to align your feelings and actions, right? How can the viewer do that? We've got the Daughter of Knives in reverse, which is the Knight of Swords. And with the Daughter of Knives in reverse, you know, it's saying to um, not waste any energy, not be overly prickly or in any way confrontational. Um, if you do so, that's just going to keep you hung up on a situation, swinging in the breeze, not knowing what sacrifice to make. But instead, by embodying, um, you know, a kinder and more open-minded approach, this is how you can align, you know, your feelings and actions. Another card on that, please. How can the viewer align their feelings and actions to get what they want. Son of Baskets, yeah. You want to move from sort of this um, Daughter of Knives in reverse energy to the Son of Baskets, which is a sweet energy. It's about somebody who is maybe not great at um, dealing with or expressing their feelings. I'm hearing owning their feelings, but they're still willing to make themselves vulnerable enough to be in touch with their feelings and to express them and you're being asked to do that um, and not be in any way unkind to yourself or to others um, and not be argumentative or not be too passive or not listen to fear instead you're being asked because the page is actually very um, very brave it takes 
it takes courage to be vulnerable and the page is one of the most vulnerable cards in the deck and so some of you are being guided to um, you could be spending time you know with a with a child or uh, a young a young person or being take taking care of the kid within because this could be like the inner child card it's an uh, emotion based card it's cancer energy we've got air energy here cancer energy for those that want to know the signs but i'm seeing somebody studying somebody being a receptive and open to new love not just romantic love but new love in all its forms and also just you know if you want to align your actions and your feelings you know do some volunteer work or help somebody anonymous good deeds something along those lines okay making yourself of service making yourself um open to giving and receiving you know um you know affection and um and commuting communicating that in some way you know perhaps to a child even some of you have a Libra, a Libra child, either your own child or in your family or a young person. But regardless of, um, of that or of the signs, this is, you know, you want good karma, do good things, okay? This is cause and effect. It's a win-win situation here. By coming into alignment, listening to this advice, Spirit is saying that a win-win situation can and will be achieved. Also, some sort of truth can come out. From the, I'm hearing... Um, out of the mouths of babes, out of the mouths of babes. Some of you have been patient, working hard, and have been experiencing delays in success with regard to money, uh, work or home, or even relationships, but um, you will be getting perhaps some sort of truth coming out. Maybe you're manifesting truth coming out. Maybe you're manifesting a confession of feelings from your loved ones. So um, in order to see that manifestation through and make it come true, definitely balance that Knight of Swords reversed energy with that... Um, with that page of cups energy and 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 you know allow yourself to be a little creative a little vulnerable a little emotional a little artistic and don't be afraid of your feelings is what i'm feeling guided to say be patient with yourself and your inner child so let's look at what is truly important to the viewers the, for the viewers who are watching angel spirits and guides we sometimes just assume that we know what's important to us but oftentimes we subconsciously don't know what is truly important to us so let's just get some clarity those who are watching you know what's truly important to the viewer please i've got two cards are off the bat that flipped out actually those three cards okay we've got the eight of sticks here and the five of knives in reverse and black herman the magician in reverse so I'm seeing that what is truly important to you is to heal a situation where there has been dishonesty or manipulation, wanting to experience communication or action, progressive action in the completion of some sort of cycle, um, the development of some sort of a goal regarding either receiving an apology or having peace after trouble at the very least, okay? Somebody could have been caught being dishonest, either it was you or someone else who's being dishonest to you. Um, somebody could have been behaving in, you know, an unfair situation or being behaving unfair towards you. So this is saying like, what, um, what's truly important to you is it's sort of the wronging of rights having some good karma having um, a just outcome having developments that are worthy of you and of the situations that are important to you and it's about wanting it to happen fast like if you've been waiting like i said before patiently waiting for um your you know your effort and your hard work to pay off into something uh i see that you're wanting that to, to move more quickly you're wanting faster action in that regard you're wanting um, a quick change and, and some results, and you're wanting some good news or communication as well. And again, it has to do with um, fairness or even an apology and um, balancing of scales as well as what I'm hearing. And the Black Herman in reverse is saying that you could be dealing with um, a Gemini or a Virgo, or you could be dealing with a fire sign, but signs aside, I'm seeing that there has been some sort of scattered energy or waste of resources, unfulfilled potential. And um, I feel it's been, you know, hurtful at the very least, making you uh, feel insecure 
some of you have dealt with emotional loss. You're grieving, you might feel abandoned or unloved. And um, if that's the case, you know, it could have been that somebody was just, you know, a, a jerk with you or to you, or there's been some unfairness that you've had to experience. So what you, what's truly important to you is getting an apology for any unfairness or just being able to um, right that wrong in some way, having somebody communicate with you, you know, to correct the situation or receiving some good news that lets you know that things are moving ahead, you know, full steam ahead in a positive direction. Okay, some of you are waiting for some good news, you know, to that extent. Some of you are waiting for a love offer or a message from a lover or someone that you care about. So with new moon um, Scorpio energy, we can expect transformation or the chance for transformation. Again, manifestation of dreams coming true is already here. It is a matter of, you know, allowing that transformation to take place and again, keeping up your hopes, dreams, and visualizations as they'll be wonderfully manifested right now. So how can you healthily express your deep emotional desires? See, you've got deep emotional, deep emotional desires. How can you healthily express that viewer? What have we got? <laughs> this cards flew out. Bishop C.H. Mason and the Nine of Knives. So I'm seeing with this that, um, how can you healthily express your desires? By remaining, you know, grounded, doing what's worked for you in the past in terms of um, enforcing your boundaries and watching your back in a way, not being paranoid, but just, um, you know, keeping and maintaining boundaries and most of all being persistent because this card talks about, um, you know, having a solid foundation, a uh, solid foundation in your beliefs. It talks about doing what you know is right and what works for you. It talks about, um, you know, respecting yourself and leading by example, I'm hearing. And sort of, again, you know, doing what's tried and true and what's worked for you. So this is what, this is how you can healthily express your, your deep emotional desires. It's by embracing sort of a stable, grounded energy and doing what's tried and true. Some of you... Um, are religious or very spiritual and you pray you're being asked to continue to do that but you are mostly just being asked to stand in your power but be humble about it and with the nine of swords that's yeah, the nine of knives in this deck nine of swords it's saying that you know to get in touch with those feelings and I feel like we're moving into the shadow energy already here in this reading um, to get in touch with and express your deep emotional desires you're being asked to, um, you know, face your fears and face your anxiety and have patience with those. This is a card of patience and seeing things from a higher perspective. And this can be a card of anxiety or grief or depression. So it's saying with regard to any sort of anxiety, grief or depression you're experiencing, do those methods that have worked for you in the past. Do those conventional treatments, traditional treatments for those things. Um, are the things that are going to work best for you now, including turning to your faith, whatever that might look like for you, or con turning to a mentor that could offer you advice in that regard, okay? One more card for how can the viewer healthily express their deep emotional desires? Yeah, we've got the big house. So that's the tower. Allowing the transformation to occur, it's, you know, makes sense that this card came out in this reading because Scorpio is about transformation. The tower is about transformation. The tower can feel scary because it can represent unwanted change, but I'm seeing that any upheaval that's occurred here um, that is necessary in order to complete the cycle of feeling sad or down about something, um, sometimes we catastrophize uh, a situation if a major change has happened um, for instance if you've experienced a breakup or um, somebody has left home or an argument if you've experienced an argument or a split um, or if there's been a split in the family unit you know we can catastrophize that and make it you know seem worse than it actually is make a mountain out of a molehill sometimes that card can talk about so you're just being guided to um 
you know, be real with yourself, be compassionate with yourself, but also um, listen to, you know, your inner guidance, the common sense that it's telling you. Listen to common sense, listen to your senses, because um, what's happening, you know, to express your desires, your deep emotional desires healthily, you need to accept change. Change is the only constant in life. Um, I, even if it's it's hurtful, even if there's family trouble or a breakup, you know, there is still hope for whatever the situation is that this is referring to, and it can vary depending on who's watching. So whatever this is referring, whatever this tower moment is referring to here, in order to healthily express your deeper desires, you need to accept change, rely on what's tried and true and what's worked for you. Understand that things aren't as bad as they might seem. However bad they might be, change is a part of life. There is renewal. There is hope. You are going to get inner clarity from the transformations. You know, miracles happen every day. Have faith, okay? And um, just know that, you know, this some area of your life might be be tough right now and it's being highlighted but that's that new moon and Scorpio energy to sort of um, knock down that castle built on sand so that you can build a metaphorical castle that's built on solid ground, one that will stand much longer. In other words, build something that lasts and stands the test of time. Any changes that are occurring are for your highest good. The best way to learn from or the best way to express your deep desires in a healthy way is to fully learn from the past. And if you're the one that's walked away, it could be meaning um, returning home, but you need to return home or return to someone or some place that feels like home. That's another way you can healthily express your deep emotions, especially if you have made a mountain out of a molehill in some way, especially if there has been a major change that's happened and you haven't taken it that well. Maybe you needed to step away from a situation for a while to gather yourself. But um, for some of you, expressing your deep emotional desires will be returning home, at the very least just learning from past, okay? So how can you integrate your shadow self? Big question, Angel Spirits and Guides, for the viewers who are watching, how can they integrate their shadow self? We've got the garden in reverse. So this is the world card. Some of you, again, are kind of catastrophizing some major change that's happened, but just know that whatever you think you've lost, you know, if you think that you've lost something or some major change, because when change happens, it's one door shuts, another one opens, right? So we think that we've lost whatever's behind the door that's shut. But just know that, you know, nothing of value that ever was truly yours has been lost to you. That its essence remains. There's a sense of permanence here and unfinished lessons regarding um, a situation. So let's look. How can they integrate their shadow self? Those who have tuned in. We've got Black Hermit in reverse again. Okay. So I'm seeing that some of you are being quite moody, you know, in your feelings, feeling negative. Um, maybe you have your reasons. But I feel that Spirit is saying that. Reflect on the possibility that your expectations for whatever this situation is, um, whatever this um, change is, or whatever the current situation is that's bringing you down, making you feel down, just check your expectations about that. You might be feeling sad about a situation because you had unexpected, or um, it was an unexpected change, but also because you had um, unrealistic expectation for that situation. So some of you are feeling quite wounded over it because of that reason. Um, and so Spirit is saying that, you know, don't waste your energy on, you know, the what ifs. Don't focus on what could have been, what should have been, what might have been. But instead, um, you know, just realize that doing that is a waste of energy. That again, whatever you've, whatever you have, you have that you've ever had, there's still hope for it. Okay. There's still hope for it. Whatever problems you're experiencing, some of you are experiencing travel problems too, it's a waste of energy to get upset about that and to focus on the unfulfilled potential in something that has ended or changed. There is still hope, is what I'm getting, okay? And you're going to receive inner clarity, and I feel that you already know 
what I'm talking about here, a lot of you. So just have faith, okay? Some of you just feel like you're not getting the attention that you want as well. Well, we've got the Bishop C.H. Mason again. So, um, yeah, I feel like some of you, I don't know who this message is for, but you might be wanting to return to someone, whether that's a romantic partner or a family member, um, or at the very least, you know, return to a dream that you had when you were young, but you're being kind of stubborn about doing that. Um, and we already saw that, you know, one of the ways that you can healthily express your deep emotional desires is to return to something with, with clarity, is to return learning fully from the past, okay? Returning to some place that feels like home. Not wasting energy worried about whatever you think you've lost or whatever you think it's going to cost you. And acknowledging where you might have some unrealistic expectations around what you think you've lost or some major change here that's upset you. Or just being upset in general if, if it's not to do with the change, but I'm getting strongly that it does have to do with the change. So it is about, you know, this is a card of um, expectations and conformity. Um, something hasn't met your expectations, perhaps. Some of you, um, you want to be more self-sufficient. You want to sort of kind of be a little bit selfish, you know, uh, attend to your own needs, be, um, be single or act like you're single. Even if you're in a relationship, there's this energy of wanting to sort of, um, focus on yourself, be in the spotlight, get more attention. So maybe you have your reasons for that. Maybe that resonate resonates. Maybe it doesn't, but at the very least I'm getting the sense of, um, just wanting to have more than you currently have, especially around like, um, recognition in, in even I'm getting like money or material things um, or, or the seeking of pleasure. And it's like, um, yeah, there's definitely this energy around that of wanting more comforts than you currently have. And so that's how you have to integrate your shadow self. It's, it's about accepting that anything worth having, you know, uh, anything that you, that is truly yours or is truly meant for you that emotional fulfillment, that wish fulfillment, I feel like it's related to a past dream perhaps, that is not lost, you have not lost that. There is a still, there's still hope for your wishes to come true, material abundance and good health. But also know that if you have, like some of you wanna be a star or something like that, um, you, you could just be wasting energy on some childish fantasy that needs to be let go of because um, it's like what you what you want, you already have it. Okay, you just need to access it is what I'm getting here. You just need to allow it to be and, um, you know, don't feel like the victim. Just get back to your roots, I'm feeling. Yeah, definitely. It's about getting back to your roots. You don't want to live in the past. You don't want to have unrealistic expectations. It's okay to be nostalgic. It's okay to focus on those things that brought you happiness in your youth. Um, and it's okay to want nice things. Some of you want gifts. It's okay to to uh, want a reunion, okay? And I see some of you need to do that, have a reunion for those that have walked away from a situation. But um, there's something here to do with sort of um, conforming to expectations and realize that by conforming to expectations doesn't mean you're lowering your standards. Sometimes... Um, Allowing yourself to be a part of a system isn't a bad thing. Whether that system is a family unit or um, gender or societal roles, if it means that you create like a win-win situation, it's not a bad thing. If it means that you cooperate, it's not a bad thing. And somebody needs to... Um, deal with some dependency issues as well here with the Miss Robinson card. Somebody feels at the very least that by conforming to expectations or being more traditional or conventional that they are <laughs> like they're being oppressed or that makes them feel claustrophobic or trapped or it can cost them too much money and they don't want to um, 
they don't want to be in a situation where they're interdependent on others. They want to be more depend they want to be more independent. And as a result of trying to be more independent, somebody becomes very challenging or plays devil's advocate. Um, somebody has sort of a, yeah. Like approaches all their relationships or their life situation like, like everything's um, a sport or, you know, that it's a challenge or from a sporting perspective. Like, like, like you're constantly dealing with rivals here. But just know that if you're doing that, that's a shadow energy that you need to integrate because it's really not serving you. The shadow energies are meant to be overcome. If you want to have that um, truly fulfilling life of being someone who's very self-sufficient, experiences of solo pleasures and financial gain, then what you're being asked to do is to be a little bit more cooperative and, and a little bit more traditional and overcome any dependencies and get balanced within yourself you know it's about um, it's about surrender so where do you need to be honest with yourself those who've tuned in where do they need to be honest with themselves new moon in Scorpio father of baskets Why is the father of baskets here? Nine of knives. So either you are a masculine water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or you have that energy, and um, and you are the one then who is being kept up late at night because we're seeing that nine of knives again. You're having nightmares. You're losing sleep. You're kind of catastrophizing the situation. You have legitimate concerns, fears, anxieties, or worries, but you're making a, the kind of a mountain out of a molehill about it, you know, making it worse than it needs to be with that anxiety and grief getting away from you a bit. Either that's you or that's somebody that's affecting you right now. This water sign energy is very anxious. So what do you, you need to be honest with yourself about? Or does the viewer need to be honest with themselves? Got the father of sticks in reverse. Let's get one more card. And we've got the four of knives. So I'm going to turn these up right. Father of sticks is um, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we've got the four of knives here. So in reverse, it's saying that there could be an unworkable situation with the masculine fire sign energy. Um, somebody who has, you know, at the very least has just not been ready for a commitment or ready to play their role in the situation. Um, this could be the, you know, if this is representing you, then this is sort of the energy that you embody that keeps you or has kept you in that shadow energy of not wanting to cooperate, of just wanting to be sort of rugged, ruggedly independent at, at, at almost any cost. But it's really, you're being asked not to be that way because you can get your dreams fulfilled in a better way by being more cooperative and doing what's tried and true for you. So, that you know, take it if it resonates that way. Otherwise, it's someone else that you're dealing with. I am kind of getting, though, that's more so to do with your energy viewer. So regardless of your sign, regardless of your gender, I feel like um, you can be a little hot-headed. You can have difficulty really coming into balance within yourself in a way that allows you to, you know, be the true leader and the you know, courageous person in your life that you really could be. So the main thing that you need to do then in that case and what you need to be honest with is that you need to heal you need to retreat, rest, and renew. You need to you need this time of solid solitude um, to recover from whatever it is that's calling you, causing you anxiety. Whatever this change is, it's unwanted. This is necessary. Okay, this is why this has happened. Is as boring or lonely as it may be, it was necessary for you to take that time to recover. Okay, so make the most of any solitude or loneliness that you're experiencing. Take it as a time to recover and renew yourself, and to get over any. Um, sort of anger issues that you might have, um, 
any weaknesses of character that you know that you have, any sense of not being ready for what you want. Some of you want, you know, your dreams to come true, but you're not actually ready for it, at least not subconsciously. So um, it happens, you know, heal from that. Take the time to rest and renew and reflect on what a new beginning in life looks for, what looks like for you and to heal from any um, heartbreak splits or separation too that have hurt you. And I feel like if you have moved away from a situation or a friend's group, family, partner, whatever it might be, um, you might not realize this or you might know that the reason that you did it was in order to um, get the space necessary to to heal, to heal yourself. So um, this is what I'm getting. So let's get some cards from... Some of you, this change that you've experienced is a lifestyle change. Clarity on the spread, please. I'm hearing that some of this has helped, like whatever this is, that tower moment especially that's happened, it's to help develop your emotional intelligence. And it's helped you to realize that you need to be more humble or that you're not always right or, you know, that sometimes life requires you to, to slow down and be patient and not just charge through it, you know, wielding your sword like that knight of swords energy. Sometimes, sometimes life requires you to, um, to go inward. We've got allowing. Okay, yeah, it's about releasing. Allowing. Relax. Enjoy yourself. Have faith. Allow situations to unfold. Answers come. Highest outcome. So answers come. You're going to achieve your highest outcome. You do need to take this time to relax and um, have faith and allow a situation to unfold, okay? You are on path to your dreams, but you are being advised to sort of um, allow these changes to take place. Really, I'm getting you don't have much of a choice, so you might as well make the best of it. Whatever major changes that have happened, all, all, as upsetting as it might be, it's in order to allow you to see things from a new perspective and also to heal and to be a bit more humbled and to be and to surrender and to learn how to surrender, to go with the flow of life, which is a part of manifesting your dreams coming true and part of trusting the process at the back of the deck. Everything always works out. Something better is on the horizon. Have total confidence in the universe. So I'm going to get you a message from the universe and that will be your reading. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate that. And um, please consider checking out my Patreon to help to keep the channel going. I'm not doing an extended reading for this, but if you like my extended readings, then consider becoming a patron as for the price of one extended reading, you get multiple extended readings. So check out my tiers and um, also I'm on Wizio for anybody that wants a personal reading. So Angel Spirits and Guides, for those who have tuned in, this new moon in Scorpio reading, go get a message from the universe culminating this, um, this reading, please. What does the universe want to tell the viewer? You are destined for greatness on the wings of love, okay? So it's about developing that emotional intelligence, not being afraid of being vulnerable. To clarify, the primary rules of love are not to heal, fix, or mend, not to soothe, cure, or ease, not even to refresh, rejuvenate, or restore, hardly. The primary primary rules of love are to yahoo, yeehaw, and woohoo, get, get your love on. So yeah, you um, don't need you know someone else to love you in order to heal. You don't need, you know, love is good for love's own sake. And it's to make you feel good and to um, love for the sake of loving, not for what it's going to get, give you or what you're going to get out of it. Because um, you are destined for, for greatness, but you have to develop that love within yourself and your emotional intelligence. And that is what's going to get you to where you want to be and help your dreams come true because we already did see that, right? So you need to allow, trust the process, go with the flow. I am feeling that you need to heal, um, not rely on somebody else to heal you or anything else to heal you. Um, and that could be whatever, you know, hardships that you're going through right now or as a result of that trying to teach you 
that um, that you do have what it takes. Be confident, be self-assured. Um, and that self-assurance is what's going to get you through. It's what's going to heal you where you need to be healed. But, um, you know, no one else can do that for you. But you have hope for the future and making your dreams come true here. You know, all is not lost, whatever you're going through, viewer. You know, you're having clarity on the fact, you know, that um, that there is hope and light at the end of the tunnel and that you are you are destined for greatness. Okay, sometimes love it's loving, the act of loving, that is its own reward. Okay, so this is what I've got for you, viewer. These are the messages from Spirit that wanted to come through. I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you next time.